Good evening. I am back. I'm going to be doing a video that I don't think many people did, which is looking at bundles. Um, we're looking at bundles and baskets. Well, we're just really going to give a basic idea of bundles. Um, baskets are similar. They just have slight differences. If you're interested in the baskets or bundles, do comment below and place your question, statements, your view, whatever. And just be like, hey, yo, what do you think about this? Or what's this? Why this? Etc. But the point is, bundles and baskets are basically your bundles for retirement annuities. Or you can use them as retirement annuities. RAs would be as the general name for it. RAs, retirement annuities. Now, what is a retirement annuity? Um, when you're working, you're generally. When you're working, you've got three options. You have what is called a provident fund, which I believe they are eliminating now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think they're converting provident funds to retirement annuities now, but I might be mistaken. So let's just assume that that's not quite correct for now, up until it's 100% confirmed. So we've got provident funds, we've got retirement annuities, and we have pension funds. Now, provident funds are pretty popular with certain companies and basically what a provident fund is money gets put into your um, savings for when you retire um, and basically when you leave you get a lump sum aka a package a retirement package whatever you is that you want to call it it's a lump sum and that's it like you guys part part ways what you do with your lump sum is totally up to you um how you use it is up to you the company has no responsibility has no ties to you you're just an ex-employee at that time so if you get a lump sum of say five hundred thousand, as an example and you decide to go and buy yourself a mercedes for five hundred thousand, that's your business and if you can no longer eat after you've bought that mercedes and you lose your house because there's no longer any income that's not that company's fault right and you can just go and sleep in that mercedes now so that's a provident fund, right? So the provident fund, you need to be disciplined um, and you need to have some kind of plan as to how you're going to live off the provident fund. So whether you're going to split it over 30 years and live off whatever it is per month that you've worked out or whether you're going to invest it into something or whether you're going to buy some kind of um, cottages or whatever, whatever it is that you plan to do, it's totally up to you. Then you've got a retirement annuity and a pension. So let's go to a pension and end with a retirement annuity, which is linked to this. With a pension, your employer and you contribute towards your fund. And when you retire, you then get a lump sum. Um, generally, it's a third, so it's 30 to 33 percent. On average, again, they differ, but on average, you get about 30 to 33 percent of your package is a lump sum that's generally to pay off whatever debt you have and so on then you get i believe the other 60 the other so it would be 70 66 yeah the other six around 66 percent um would come as a salary um generally it's for life if i'm not mistaken um and a lot of the time even if there's a company pension, the company pension isn't necessarily under the company. So generally, they'll the company will have a will open up like a pension fund under another company and they'll invest through there. So if you're working as a cop, as an example, or as a security guard, or as a waiter, or whatever it is, a chef, whatever, if there is a pension fund there. And you're working at a hotel that hotel is not going to pay you your pension fund after you've left they will pay the pension fund into a con another company on the side they'll take deductions from you and put it into there as well so they'll both co you'll both contribute and when you leave that company that is not at that hotel that that was collecting that pension fund and investing it that is the company that will be paying you off so you don't get paid by your employer you get paid by the pension fund that your employer hired so that's basically the pension fund um and then let's go to the retirement annuity because that's kind of where this leads to 
So I just wanted to kind of open up a small plane for those that weren't clear on the differences between the two because I wasn't clear on the differences um, some time ago as well. And so I had to ask around people who have these packages and deal with them and give them out, etc. So anyway, so with a retirement annuity, it's kind of both of kind of a mix because the employer doesn't contribute just like so the employer doesn't contribute um kind of like in a provident fund if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure if I'm, an employer does contribute there but i don't think they do but anyway so in a retirement annuity it's basically your own pension fund that you open up you go to old mutual or you go to sunlam or you go to um various other financial institutions and you get to them and you tell them that you want to open up a retirement annuity and they will then open up a retirement annuity so it would be exactly the same as a pension fund the main difference just between the two is that in a pension fund your employer contributes and a retirement annuity your employer does not contribute in a retirement annuity you also are given 30 percent as a lump sum and then the rest is given out as a uh as a salary um i want to say for life but i'm not too sure um so i want to say it but don't quote me on it i'm not sure whether there is a lifespan to it or not so for now let's just leave it at that now let's get to what we have here so under the bundle you have your um hmm, let's do that you have your you have your baskets and you have your bundle so we're going to look at bundles the main difference between these two really is that with baskets you can choose to remove certain companies from your basket you can't add any but you can remove them and in bundles you can't in bundles because of the fact that you can't remove your um any companies from the bundles they will automatically rebalance um at every time so they'll basically manage the fund for you so it is in it is essentially a retirement annuity um i believe that they they also have lifespans so so you know you might want to keep it for x number of years some are three years some are five years um i believe if you like 40 you can keep it for 20 years i believe again i'm unclear because it's a retirement annuity and you can't exit a retirement annuity before the age of 55 it only makes sense that if you're 40 you have to keep it for 15 years invested in that so that's 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 the logic that i have from that perspective so anyway so the question then is why the hell would i want to have a retirement annuity um because people have retirement annuities and don't really earn that much and you know there, there are issues and scandals and all of that and the reason is you want to you know it's it's kind of like having your own little savings account and all that um you want to it's the creation of multiple streams of income which i will get to in another video perhaps but in short you're creating a safe net for yourself the reason that you do this is because you want to say so let's assume that I'm working a decent job. So let's say, for instance, I'm a car salesman um, or I'm a chef at a hotel. Um, I'm a waiter. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a waiter, right? I'm a waiter. I'm a cleaner. Um, um, what else? Um, I'm, I'm a street sweeper. Uh, whatever. Um, I'm, I'm a hustler in terms of just like small businesses you know like a tech shop whatever right um so you're 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 doing your own thing right and you don't have let's say permanent employment so you don't get a pension now the reality is when you get to around 60 you're probably going to get tired you might not get tired but it's not going to be like when you're 20 or 30 um so and they're probably going to let you go maybe around 60 65 you're gonna either leave or they'll get to a point where they just like look you're a bit you're a bit grown now and we'd like other people to to fill your position and basically bugger off now at that point you call you if you've been relying on your salary because that's the other thing is we can say save the reality of the matter is very few people including myself can save a certain amount of money through discipline 
the entire career. It's, it's, it's ridiculously difficult because so many things come along that you want to you wanna save people or get out of problems. You use part of that money and eventually it just gets destroyed, right? So you open up things like retirement annuities because firstly, you know that you can't get that money out. So it is there, it is safe um, in any way possible. And it's going to be there when you retire. When you retire and you leave, assuming that you don't have a provident fund, you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you've got nothing. You have, you've been living off your salary for a few decades and now your salary stops and you've got nothing. So what you want to do is you want to use a retirement annuity as your safety net so that once you get to retirement age, I know it might be very far away from many people. Some people are like, I'm 18. I've literally got like 50 years before I retire, right? Some people might be like, I'm 20. I've got 40, 45 years before I retire. And the last thing again you want is to wake up at the age of 50 or 55 and be like, snap, I don't have a retirement. I need to get my retirement sorted. Okay, so that's the first thing. So the earlier, the better. The second reason is, you it allows you to take a bit more risk like it's cool we do stocks you know we, we analyze and we have that 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 vision of being able to live off the stocks and share the dividends and the capital growth and make whatever the amount that we aim to make but we also need to come to terms with the fact that it may not happen there's it may not one it may it, the stocks may not grow as quick as we think so we may five, ten years down the line, um, bust the accounts. You know, you might invest a lot into, I don't know, like redefine and just falls. You know, kind of like a van. You know, imagine, imagine a person who has who had been investing in a van for the past twenty, thirty years, um, and they were fifty-five. Let's say in twenty fifteen. Right now it's 2020. They're 60, and the van was at like 25 bucks a share. They bought a van at like 10 rand or 5 rand a share. They bought at 5 rand a share. They kept buying it. It's a construction company. South Africa is a developing country. They've got this nice thesis, and they bought over the years 10,000 shares. Right, so they bought 10,000 shares. Now it's at 25 bucks a share. That's 250,000. Great. They'll probably give it a dividend or sell it off. And all of a sudden, the bank goes to a cent, right? So now you've gone from 250,000 to what? 250 bucks, I think. Yeah, something like 250 bucks to 2,500. And you're about to retire. You can't retire on 2,500. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, right, I'm going to put money into this retirement annuity. And I'm not trying to sell retirement annuities, by the way. I'm not, I'm not in that industry. But what I'm trying to say here is, you, you want to put yourself in a position where you have a retirement annuity and you say, right, I'm working and I know that I've got, say, this retirement annuity, I'm putting this much a month. I'm calculating basically that based on just normal inflation rate, I will have X amount of money that I'll live off, right? Now you've got a safety net. Now you can stop playing with stocks because now you're you're not you're not depending on stocks to live you're depending on stocks for wealth that's a totally different mindset you don't want to find yourself saying i hope that this stock works out you want to say i want it to work out <laughs> because i want to be wealthy but long story short if all i buy are a whole lot of groups of events i've still got my retirement annuity there set and that's 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 it now Going down, I'm going to separate those into two videos. So that's the bundle, the basket system, and I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a bit. Um, and I'm just going to start another video, a part two, looking at that. Because it's going to be pretty long. So please do tune in for the next video. Thank you very much.